whom we serve. They, they serve them. But number two, they have confidence in God. The only way you're going to stand against whatever is facing you if you understand that you must have a confidence in God. Verse 17, can we go back to verse 17? It says, if it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire and furnace. They said God is able. Somebody say able. able. God is able. Mm -hmm. And when you understand what that word able means, it's the Hebrew word yakel. Amen. I'm not a wordsmith about what you take. Amen. It's the wordsmith. Amen. But it's yakel. It's, it's yakel. And, and that, that Hebrew word yakel means God's ability or God's power. So what these young men were saying that God has the ability uh, to bring us out of the fire. Yeah. Right. 
Um, because it's easier to quit at the but if not. Mm. Oh, if God don't pay my bills, but if not, I'm just going to quit right there in the but if not. If, if God doesn't do what God said that God would do, I'm just going to quit right there at the but if not. Hey, Amen. If some of you find yourself at the but if not, let me tell you, you need to go on and go across the but if not. Hey, amen. Amen. That's, that's your word. Amen. Amen. Imagine the people. Imagine what it would be if people stopped at the but if not. Imagine what it would be if Harry and Tubman, hey man, let's do some history, stop at the but if not. God Almighty. Imagine what it would be if Jesse Jackson and them stopped at the but if not. Imagine what we would be if King stopped at the but if not. Imagine what we would be if Obama stopped at the but if not. And when you begin to see others who have went across the but if not, a power of a script surge to let you know you can go across the but if not too. You can go across that hurdle as well. Is there anybody who can testify? I'm going over the but if yes. not. Yes. What if Jesus yes. gave up yes. at the but if not? Yes. <laughs> what if Jesus said this is too hard for me?
Somebody shout, stand your ground, stand your ground. What a word, what a word. Can we give God praise in this house? Come on, somebody just shout, stand your ground, stand your ground. We give God praise for the word today. And we bless the name of the Lord for this preacher. Did not miss the power's preach in this house for today. Can somebody just lift your hand, throw your head back and say, I'm standing on the word today. Come on, somebody open. It always allows an opportunity for us to make a decision. It's decision time. There may be somebody here today, my brother, my sister, who needs to make a decision for Jesus Christ. We offer Christ to you today. I want to let you know he will give you brand new life and that life more abundantly. But you've got to make a decision that in spite of what happens, in spite of what you're going through, you're going to be willing to commit yourself to the cause of Jesus Christ. And so if there's one today, we offer Christ to you. If you've never asked him to come into your heart to be the Lord of your life, this moment is just for you. Close your eyes as we begin to pray this prayer together. Lord Jesus, I pray for somebody who does not know you in the free pardoning of their sin. I pray now that they would make a decision to allow you to come in. Take your place as the Lord of their life. Now, God, I thank you for strength and for boldness to make a decision for the Lord. We consider it done now. In Jesus' name, amen. If that's you, my brother, my sister, if you need to make a decision today, why don't you come? You don't have to leave this place the same way that you came. We want to let you know Jesus will give you brand new life and that life more abundantly. All you got to do is come. Maybe you're already saved, but you're a backslider, and that's, this is what that means. Backsliding means that you strayed out of right fellowship with Jesus Christ. You don't read your Bible the way that you should. You don't pray as often as you should. Don't even come to church as often as you know you ought. Don't feel the presence of the Lord in your life. The power of salvation that comes through Jesus Christ. If that's you today, my brother, my sister, you are a backslider. But I want to let you know that's good news even for the backslider today. Because the Bible teaches that he's married to the backslider. And even when you don't feel the presence of the Lord, it's not because he's left you. Because his word declares that he will never leave you nor forsake you. But maybe you have strayed out of right relationship with him. This is your moment and we want to pray the prayer of restoration. Thirdly, you may be here, you're in a good relationship, you're saved. But you need a Bible teaching, Bible believing church where God can plant your feet. Grow your roots so that you can become strong in the things of the Lord. We want to let you know we will be so excited to have you to become a part of what God is doing right here at First Mount Pleasant. But we want to let you know we are not just a church. We are a... Oh, come on, y'all. Say it like the 